It's a groundbreaking this morning in less than three hours for a new fire station in St. Charles. The Power of Two's Laura Simon is live at the site to explain why the firefighters say they need a new building. Laura. Good morning, John. Good morning, everyone. So I'm standing in front of Fire Station 3 in St. Charles. This is located on Elm Street, and this building behind me is being torn down for several reasons, and it's going to be replaced with a new one that's set to be done by the fall of next year. But the reason that they're doing is, well, there's several reasons to tear this building down. Uh, first and foremost, they're dealing with some structural issues here, including some flooding problems and electrical hazards that would require major, if not extensive and expensive repairs. The state is also unable to accommodate the size of the department's modern fire equipment, which does limit their resources. They also have some safety concerns. The small size of the station also prohibits housing additional staff members here, which would essentially increase service to this area. So this is all being paid for all thanks to voters passing Proposition R back in 2021. The groundbreaking for this new fire station is set to take place at 9 this morning. Anyone's invited to attend this groundbreaking ceremony. If you do want to come out, you are asked to park at JC Park, which is right next to the fire station here, uh, just so there's space for this groundbreaking ceremony to take place. But city officials do want you to know that response times in this area are not going to be affected, but the firefighters that were being housed here are currently in Fire Station 1 here in St. Charles as the work's about to get underway. Live in St. Charles this morning, I'm Laura Simon.